so I may have been watching a little bit too much Chris Fix lately. Are you ready? <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Kern and welcome back to Octane Street The Road here on YouTube that never ends. And today we're gonna be tackling some minor scratches, some rust spots, and all that good stuff in this video. Now, for those of you guys that have been following the channel, you know that I have my 2014 Hyundai Veloster Turbo listed on local classifieds up for sale so that I could get my dream Mustang. Now, before I actually go ahead and sell this car, Chris Fix has inspired me to kind of use my last moments with this car to practice doing minor touch-ups and repairs, uh, not only to give the buyer a better overall vehicle in the end once I find a buyer, but to also get some experience under my belt of what it's like to actually fix some of these scratches or rust spots. So some of the tools that I have here on the hood, for example, this glove that's trying to run away just to get you know a good clean, this is gonna help get a, get rid of some of that fallout out of the car. We have some primer, which we're gonna go over the rust spot with, rust converter, as well as a uh, touch of paint pen right here from the factory Hyundai, uh, as well as some scratch touch up product. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and show you guys some of the damages we're gonna be tackling, and then go ahead and start with that first one. So we're at the back of the vehicle now, which is where we have our one and only uh, rust spot. It's right here on the hatch of the vehicle. And now as you guys can see, it will start to continue to expand if I don't take care of it soon. So we're gonna be tackling this, sanding it down to the bare metal of the vehicle, putting a little bit of primer on, well, wax and grease remover first, prime or rust converter, then prime, then a couple coats of uh, base paint, and then a couple coats of clear coat. Okay, so that's gonna be the process for this little area. It's my first time ever tackling some rust. So this is what I'm most scared to do. But also if you come into the uh, the hatch here, you'll see these tiny little uh, rust spots that look like they're about to you know, start forming. It's a bunch of orange dots all over the paint of the vehicle. And that's known as industrial fallout. So if you park near trains, train stations or uh, a lot of construction sites, little parts, particles of iron, even from your brakes, brake dust will actually latch onto the clear coat of your paint and then slowly start to eat through the clear coat, through the base coat, and then eventually through the metal. So you wanna go ahead and tackle that before it gets to that stage. And luckily it should be really simple. So I have a product here that we're gonna go over and we're gonna first clean the car off, spray that product, and I'll talk a little bit more about it then. Alright guys, so we got the car all dried and clean now. As you guys can see, maybe it's sparkling just a little bit more, which is all we really need. Didn't need to do a deep clean, but what we're going to be using for those little uh, industrial fallout particles, those little iron brake dust particles that have caused all these tiny little rust spots, is we're actually going to be using something called Auto Glim Magma. Okay, so this is specifically for removers, remove stubborn specks of iron from paintwork and wheels for a spotless, silky smooth finish. Now, a lot of you guys that are in the States, you're gonna know of a product called Iron X. That's the most popular product that I've came across. It's, however, it's a lot more expensive than this. So for my Canadian viewers, I'm definitely gonna entice you guys to go to your local Canadian tire and pick yourself up a bottle of this. It comes with the same 500 milliliters that a bottle of Iron X would. And if you check amazon.ca, Iron X is going for $45, whereas this bad boy is $14.99 or right around there. So definitely for my Canadian viewers, go ahead and pick up a bottle of this. Now we're gonna spray it on and see it react. If it's actually doing its job and reacting with those little industrial fallout particles, then what we should see is the color running down and the iron running down in either a red or purple uh, colored shade. So I'm gonna start spraying and let's hope we see that reaction within about 30 seconds to a minute. Two hours later. So as you guys can see, this stuff works very, very quick. It's reacting really quickly. So now I'm gonna take a nice uh, clean rag with soap and water on it and wipe it all down before this 
kind of sits like this and messes with the paint a little bit more so really crazy to see how it works definitely recommend getting a scented one so it doesn't smell like an absolute dead body even this cherry scented one smells a little bit like death so it's definitely worth it but yeah a mask might be uh, recommended Alright guys, so we just finished cleaning the car, spraying the uh, magma spray that I showed you guys earlier. And honestly guys, it made the paint look amazing. Now coming closely here, so you guys might be saying, hey, where's that rust spot that you're supposed to fix? Right here guys, that is it. That's the entire rust spot. It went from about half an inch in diameter to now a tenth of an inch in diameter. So huge huge uh improvement even on such a, a you know big rust spot such as that one uh, but if you come in closely to the paint here i'm going to try and show you guys before and after this section right here the paint is absolutely crisp and clean uh the car looks more white than it did when i first bought it and it's something that i wish i did a lot sooner uh it's a shame that it took me that i have to even sell this vehicle to you know finally do something like this but anyway we're still going to tackle this tiny little bit of a rust spot here i'm kind of going to sand it down just a little bit i'm going to use rust converter uh primer uh base coat and yeah so let's go ahead and get started on it Boo, you suck all right guys so i just finished up i still have a coat of clear coat to go over but it takes pretty long to dry even outside even though it's nice um a little bit frustrated it was not as easy as i was hoping it would be not gonna lie uh didn't even bother showing you guys the process because it was more frustration than anything uh pretty much illiterate when it comes to this kind of stuff i thought i'd give it a try and if you ask me just like with the frankenstein drifter stitch that i tried to do in a previous video at least to me it looks a little bit better than it did before and so in my book i count that as a minor success i'll go ahead and show you guys a not too close up of the work and you guys can be the judge at home but that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed what you saw here today, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that notification bell so that you guys could ride shotgun with me on the next video. My name is Karen. This is Octa Street, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. So <laughs> so <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh my god. So <laughs> Go back. I got it. So <laughs> what Go hell? back one more time. It's, okay. it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.